Okay, so here's what we've done so far, yeah. Um, I've mounted the Raspberry Pi on the board that's been fed by a mobile phone charger. Okay, and over here we have the internet. Now, there's no need at the moment for the internet, but you'll see later on why I have that connected. Okay, coming from that, I've mounted the four channel relay board. Um, and the cabling going from the Pi to the relays so that's done and then the cables coming out from the relay board just going away to the lights in either tank and I've had to make up this little board just to get the 12 volts from the power supply to feed the lights okay So just a little extra there on the uh, the cabling coming from the Pi to the board. So on the board with the four relays, you're going to have four GPIO output pins. And the two cables, you can see them here, the black and the white cable, they're the 5 volt power supply to the board. So if you come to this end of the cables, you can see I hope the black and white and then you have the four channels so the black and white cable is what actually powers up the board and then as the GPIOs on the Pi switch they'll switch on each relay um, again you can make it turn them all on at the same time turn one on, two on, three on, four on it makes no difference that's all in the code um, I can show you this a bit better in a minute um, the 12 volt supply comes from a transformer I have, power supply. Um, these cables here are the negative supply, so they're just looped together. Then your 12 volt goes in here. So each relay has a common and then a normally open, normally closed contact. So I'm just looping the commons with 12 volts. And then the red white red white cable coming out is from the normally open contact which is the normal state so then when the pi switches on the relay that normally open contact will close and your lights will come on okay just to give you another idea there of what we're doing with the gpio pins so here's the GPIO pins, I've opened up the Pi. Here's the GPIO pins here, yeah. Now, I've downloaded this off the internet. And this is basically telling you what each pin does on the Pi. So, for our relay board, okay, I've just done a little sketch here. Nothing major. Okay, you can see that. So you've ground in one, in two, in 3, in 4, and VCC. So what we need to do is, we need to take a 5 volt supply down to VCC. We need to take a ground to GND. And then for the code I've written, I'm using GPIO 18, 23, 24, and 25. So again, we need to take a cable from GPIO 18 to N1, 23 to N2, 24 to N3, and 25 to N4. Simple. Just before I switch it on and try and get the lights up and running, um, I said to just give one quick run around the uh, Raspberry Pi for anybody not familiar with it. Here it is. This is a Raspberry Pi model B plus version 1.2. Okay, so as you've seen, GPIO pins across the top. Okay, this has four USB ports, an Ethernet port, HDMI port. This is for the old 
let me think, red, white and yellow cables. I uh, don't think it's composite, is it VGA? I forget. I haven't used it in a long time. And this is where the Pi is poured from. Just a normal, as I say, um, mobile phone charger. Okay, now also on the board there's other outputs that you can use. You can get a camera, you can get different expansion boards, everything. Um, the newest version of this is the Pi Zero, which I have down at the house. Um, but that's another, another video. It's even smaller than this again. Okay. But that's the Pi. Um, underneath, there's no onboard memory on this. So here you go. You download your operating system onto a mini SD card. Put it in there. And that's your hard drive. Flip it back over. As I say, when you buy the Pi, unless you buy it as a kit, if you just buy the Pi direct, this is all you get. Just the board. No SD card, no nothing. So it actually comes just like this. So to save it from damage, depending on what you're going to do with it, you can buy covers, different sizes, shapes, colors, materials, and that will keep your pie safe. Again, as I say, uh, this is about 30 euros. The new Pi Zero is going to be priced, I believe, at 5 euros. Or 5. 5 euros. Unbelievable price. But maybe I'll do a video on that some other time. Anyway, let's try and get these lights on. Okay. Okay, so the Pi is back together, plugged in, ready to go. We'll try and test these lights. So again, one tank, two tanks. Now there isn't a whole lot of fish in here, I think you might be able to see. There's an angel fish in that tank. I haven't really done much with these tanks until I get the lights and the heating up and going. So, a while ago I said there was no need for the internet cable. Now you can plug a keyboard and as I showed you there's a HDMI uh, connection on the Pi. So you can plug it straight into a monitor or TV and a keyboard mouse into the USB ports. Or if you connect it to the internet you can download a program called Putty. P-U-T-T-Y and that will allow you to connect over your network to the Pi. Um, a quick search on YouTube or anything else to show you how to set that up. It's not a big deal. Free software download. Um, it's no problem. Okay, so let's. I have it already installed. Let's give this a try. Okay, so we should get one light on, two lights on, and then two lights on in the other tank. One light on, two lights on, three and four lights on. Okay, so you can see you also have localized LEDs on the relay board. So if you have the relay board in another location maybe in a closet or somewhere like that you can see what lights are on um, on my program it will also tell me on the keyboard light number one on, light number two on, light number three on light number four on okay so maybe I'll do a separate video just on the on the uh, code Okay, so let's just try switching them off. Off. And off. 
Okay, so that's them working, and you can see four LEDs are gone off on the relay board. So I'll switch them on again, and maybe this time I'll just keep it on the relay board, and you'll see as they come on. Light one, light two, light three, and light four. Okay, so that's good. So the next thing to do will be the temperature probes. And um, see you next time. Any questions that you want me to go through besides this, um, you can just let me know. And see you next time. Okay.